1949. Eccles in 1949 was a very different place than it is today, and this rare home video, kindly donated to Salford Online by the Gunton family, shows us a snapshot of life after World War II when food and clothing were still on ration. This is Mr Leach looking resplendent in his naval uniform, helping a young toddler with her first steps. Note the number of children playing in Winton Park. Sadly, it is unknown who they are. Here's a very purposeful walk towards the camera. Have a look at the old-fashioned pram in the background. Nothing like the modern-day buggies. This clip tells us of an age of innocence long gone. Here we see John Martin in his RAF uniform playing with local children. RAF personnel at this time were known as Brill Cream Boys after the popular hair cream of the time. I found this very staged militia salute to his friend Mr Leach who gave him a friendly salute back quite humorous. This is Tom Martin, John's father on his allotment at Reginald Street, Peel Green. Food was still on rationing until the early 1950s, so growing your own was an attractive alternative to facing long queues at local stores. Tom's feeding his pet goat with some vegetables. No doubt the animal would end up on the family dinner table. This is Wilfred Gunton in his Scots Guard arm uniform, walking with his fiancée, Joan Pimlet, down the entry between Florence Street and Winifred Street. Joan seems to have her best clothes on, and the couple are obviously in love. Tom Martin makes another appearance in his son's home video. Here we see him playing with the family pet, Trigger the Dog. Interesting to see that he's wearing a suit with shirt and tie. Was this one for the camera? I recall that men would wear their best clothes on a Sunday, only if they were going to the pub. Despite his somewhat stern appearance, his affection for Trigger is obvious. You may notice that he is smoking, not considered very PC these days. This is local lad Tommy McKee, riding his bike through the entry. Bicycles were the most affordable form of transport for most people, as petrol was expensive and scarce. This is a nice clip of a young lad energetically skipping away. Do children still play with skipping ropes? No doubt today he will be playing a handheld video game. In this final sequence we see two local young girls. They are Annie Martin and Joyce Pimlet. They're obviously posing for John Martin's camera as they swap small talk. Annie, who to me resembles a young Diana Dawes, is wearing the fashion of the day, looking very svelte in a pencil-lined skirt and blouse, and not one bit camera shy. Joyce is also in her best clothes and looking a tad bashful. I'm fascinated to see the young girls talking. I wonder what on earth they are talking about. Men, work, the future, John Martin. Where it is, they both seem very happy and carefree, and why not? The war had finally ended, the whole country was looking forward to a rosy future. Finally, Trigger the Dog ends up in the final frame trying to steal the show. <laughs>